Welcome back to the D.L. Jones Book Show. I'm your host, D.L. Jones. And on this episode, I'm going to be giving you my review, my thoughts of the brand new HBO Max movie, Mortal Kombat. We're going to get in on that right after the intro. So stay tuned. All right, today I'm going to be talking about Mortal Kombat. I watched it over the weekend. Um, I've been waiting on this movie for a while. I had did a uh, Mortal Kombat trailer review a couple of weeks back when they released the trailer. And, um, and I was really excited for this movie. The trailer looked like it was going to be really cool. Um, and it looked like it was going to be filled with a bunch of action and fight scenes and all of that kind of stuff. So, of course, you know, when the movie came out, I was excited to watch it quickly went to HBO Max to check it out and I watched the movie. I did that uh, Friday night. I think Friday was the day it released. That's the night I watched it. Um, so I had the whole weekend to think about it. And today, you would, you know, today I'm recording this is Monday. So I'm not sure when I'm going to release this video, but I'm recording this on Monday. I had the whole weekend to think about it. And um, before I tell you my thoughts, let me just basically talk about the movie itself. OK, so Mortal Kombat. You know, I'll be honest with you, I don't have a big history with Mortal Kombat. I remember the first game, the video game when it first came out. I remember it being popular. I played it. But other than that, I have never really paid attention to Mortal Kombat um, as far as the video game since then. Now, the first movie came out. I saw that. I really liked it. Um, a lot of action scenes. I love the fight choreography and all of that kind of stuff, which I think that was what pretty much what I liked the most about the first movie. Um, the movie itself, I wouldn't say it was good, but it was enjoyable, it was entertaining, and the fight scenes were awesome. The choreography and the fight scenes, they were awesome, and that's what made the movie for me. Um, I've seen the other ones that came out afterwards, but I don't quite remember them. You know, I guess that goes to tell you how much they stuck with me, I don't remember, I just know that I've seen them. Um, so we come to this Mortal Kombat, I sit there and I watched it, and it starts off with a pretty cool fight scene. Um, it kind of throw you right into like some kind of like ancient Japan type situation, time frame or something like that, where you have um, Sub-Zero, you know, he's trying to assassinate, you know, this guy, which I don't know why. I don't know why he's trying to assassinate him. And maybe they do explain it throughout the movie. Um, but I missed it. But I don't know why he's trying to assassinate him. But he's trying to assassinate this guy. He ended up killing um, the, the woman. And the guy was out. The guy, which later on we find out that this guy was Scorpion. But he was out um, like doing planting stuff in the yard or whatever. And he had a son, a baby. And... The baby, you know, end up being um, hidden underneath a plank of wood in the house when when Sub-Zero came and attacked them and all of that kind of stuff. So the baby was the only one that survived that little fight. You know, Sub-Zero killed the mother, killed um, Scorpion, and he didn't find the baby. So the baby kind of was hidden under the house. Now, after Sub-Zero left, um, Ra Radian, or what is his name? Raiden. Raiden is his name. The electric guy. The electric uh Mortal Kombat character. He shows up and he kind of like surveys the area and he he sees that, you know, whoever they've been murdered. But then he hears the baby cry and he saved the baby and he raised the baby. Um, but anyway, it goes into present day and the whole basic premise of Mortal Kombat as far as this movie, I can't remember if the other movies was the same way or not, but the whole premise is that there's like this you know, kind of realm where every once in a while they come together and do battle. You know, there was one realm that protects the earth and the other realm that, you know, wants to, you know, invade earth or take control of the earth, but they have to do battle. They have to do what they call a mortal combat. And if the bad side of, you know, those characters win, then they take over earth. Now, Raiden is sort of like the person that facilitates it from rep representing the earth characters representing the good guys and um and what he does is that when that when that stuff starts when all of the battles and stuff starts he kind of have a hand in training all of the good guys so that they can defeat the bad guys you know and protect earth you know so we start off with this new character i'm guessing he's a new character he's not even having he's completely new he's not a character from the video games or anything he's a new character just created for this movie and he finds he has this mark you know this mark on his 
like his shoulder or whatever, which is basically the Mortal Kombat symbol, look like it's branded in him. And he has this mark and the whole thing with this mark is that, you know, if you are chosen to fight in Mortal Kombat, you get this mark, you know. Um, so he has this mark. He don't know what it is. Come to find out he's like a descendant of Scorpion. You know, I don't know if I, I wasn't clear if Scorpion was his dad or Scorpion was like a few generations out and he was like a grandkid or something like that. I, I can't remember. Um, I do know that the baby that was, um, well, I guess it was, I guess he had to be a few generations out because I think the baby that was saved, which was Scorpion's child was a girl. So, and this was a guy. So I'm guessing he's, a, this is like a few generations later. Um, but he's still the same. He's a blood relative of the Scorpion, you know. And the Scorpion, while he was killed back then, he actually just went to hell and he still lives in hell, you know. We do see him again before the movie's over with. Um, spoiler. But anyway, so the whole story is about, the whole movie is about these characters coming together and trying to train to fight the evil Mortal Kombat characters, you know, because if they win, you know, then they protect the Earth from the evil Mortal Kombat characters from um, taking over. So, you know, they had like, uh, you know, you got a lot of like, fantasy kind of elements because everybody that has the mark has the Mortal Kombat brand on them they eventually will develop a kind of magic you know and it's sort of like in the video games where each character can do certain things like one character can shoot fireballs and one character can shoot a beam out of his eye and Sub-Zero can do the, the um the uh frost stuff the freezing stuff and how Scorpion can shoot the little fire he, he does fire i think from his hands and he does the little get over here with the chain thing that pulls people to him but everybody has like a skill like that and they kind of explain that in the movie as being that you develop that skill to help you when you go into mortal kombat to fight so that's basically you know the story of the movie you know you got the good mortal kombat characters um training to defeat the bad mortal kombat characters and the good mortal kombat characters is really a ragtag bunch of group of people you know they the way they come about in the, in the movie it seemed like there's no way that they would win the the evil characters they all seem like they're efficient they seem like they can fight they work well together but it seemed like the the good guys it seemed like there's no way they'll win which of course you know they always come together to end movies like this and um and save the day you know so that's basically the gist of the movie i'm not gonna go too far into it um i'd say go and watch it it's on hbo max go check it out so my thoughts on the movie um i'll be honest with you i did not think this movie was good i thought it was really really boring um but i think it was really really boring there's a lot of things that happen in this movie that explain things that i was so bored that i kind of tuned out and never caught it you know so um yeah and i think and i don't you know i'm not interested in it enough to watch it another time to catch up on that stuff i just thought it was kind of dull you know it starts off with an action scene which is pretty cool but then I, it felt like a whole hour went by and nothing happened you know and then at the end they have fight scenes again when they finally get into the actual mortal combat part of the movie and i didn't think they were that good i, I feel like the fight scenes in the first movie um, the very first original Mortal Kombat movie was miles, miles more interesting and more entertaining than the ones in this movie. Um, but yeah, I thought it was kind of just dull. I mean, I wouldn't say, I would say it's worth a watch if you're a fan, but I kind of think it's dull. I think it's something that you could skip and it won't hurt you. Um, but yeah, I didn't think it was a good movie. I was really excited for this movie. Maybe that played on it a little bit because after watching that trailer, I was really excited for it. I was expecting to see a lot of action and choreography and stuff. And I was going to, you know, be sitting there like eating popcorn and stuff. But no, it was boring. You know, it was boring. Um, there were a few scenes that were pretty cool, but not every fight scene was cool. And most of the movie was just dull. You know, I just didn't enjoy it that much. Um, I, and and like I said, I just did a, I just recorded a video for my Falcon and Winter Soldier, and I was explaining in that video that when I watch stuff like this, and I know I'm going to do a movie, I tend to not watch or read or listen to anybody else's review, no other YouTube channels, no podcasts or nothing like that until I do my review, because I don't want 
what I've read or listened to or something like that to affect what I have to say. So I don't know what other people are thinking. I may be the only one to think that think it's boring, but yeah, I thought it was pretty dull. I thought it was pretty boring. Um, I would say, you know, a lot of times I'll say that I love a movie or I like a movie, but I kind of, this one for me is kind of teetering along the line of it's okay and I wouldn't have been upset if I missed it. You know, that's that's where I fall with this movie. Um, I just didn't think it was that enjoyable. I think a large part of it was boring. Uh, and the fight scenes that they did have, with the exception of the very first one, they weren't interesting enough to me to bring my interest up any. You know, it just felt like a boring movie to me. Um, it was dull. But yeah, that's that's what I thought about Mortal Kombat. I, I, I love to hear your comments. If you watched the movie, I love to hear what you thought about the movie in the comments. Um, and I'm I'm really sad that I feel that way about this movie because I was so excited for it. But um, but yeah, I just thought it was a dull, boring movie with mediocre fight scenes and something that if I wouldn't have saw it, you know, it wouldn't have been a big deal of missing it for me, you know. But that's it. Mortal Kombat. That's my thoughts. Let me know what you think about it in the in the uh, comments below. Um, if you like this video, click subscribe, click like. Um, if you also thought this movie was boring, click like, you know, now nah, don't just click like if you like the video. That has nothing to do with whether you, you think the movie's boring or not. I mean, everybody have their own opinion. But um, but yeah, go ahead and uh, subscribe if you want to see more videos um, where I talk about my thoughts on different movies and TV shows and stuff like that. Um, make sure you subscribe to the channel. Um, there's already tons of videos on the channel about that kind of stuff with all different other types of story related topics and properties and movies and TV shows and stuff like that. So check those out. And um, and yeah, I'm, I'm sad to say that's my thoughts of, of uh, Mortal Kombat. Um, and I don't really have much else to say about it. It, it, it just kind of eh, boring and that's where it left me. But anyway, thank you for watching and I'll see you next time. Congratulations, you made it to the end of the video. While you're here, why don't you check out that video right there? Or maybe that one right there. And while you're at it, go ahead and uh, click that, that little picture of my image there and subscribe to my channel.